from the beginning, our goal with Warner Race was to make an authentic car film. You're taxing those little injectors with your big turbo. It might be running lean on top end. It seemed to pull hard right through red line last time I checked. It could pull harder is all I'm saying. These cars will really do these things. The products are real. All, all the technical stuff is real. The features are real. The horsepowers are real. You know, we have real cars doing this stuff. The main thing that sets this film apart from other street racing films is that it's set in high school. And the characters drive cars that high school kids would actually drive, like a Subaru STI, a Honda Civic, or a Mustang GT. These kids live and breathe these cars. It's their life. It's all they talk about. It's all they know. We've seen all these movies, Fast and Furious, and all these other car movies, which are great and they're a lot of fun, but for the niche people like myself that are racers, I mean, a quarter mile is a quarter mile. You don't shift 17 times and hit your nitrous button 52 times, and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like nonsense racing. Well, what we wanted to do, we still wanted it to be exciting and fun, but we wanted real life technical stuff, real life cars, real life racing. So basically, the cars you see in this movie pretty much can do what they're doing. The opening street race in downtown LA was actually shot at a real street racing location. And instead of dressing up a bunch of cars and putting stickers on them, we brought in real street racers to come out and race. So that three minute montage at the beginning of the film, those are actual street racers doing their thing. This movie was created with Alex and I sitting at Mel's Diner in Sherman Oaks talking about it. And even though we didn't shoot at a real Mel's Diner, you know, it's got that same feel of that 50s all-American diner, which was like my home base through, you know, all of my college years. Other locations were like Pep Boys. Pep Boys stepped up in a big way and they've developed this new speed shop, which they told me about on the phone. And I was like, what do you mean? Pep Boy Speed Shop. I wasn't really clear about it. They said, just go to downtown LA and check it out. And I walk in and it looks like a regular Pep Boy. And you look over in the, the far corner and boom, it's a full blown speed shop. Right here. We also were lucky enough to have the NHRA support this movie and the track at uh, California Speedway, which is now called Auto Club Speedway. Uh, you know, we used the real drag strip, the same drag strip I've won numerous championships on. Um, Mark Dawson from the track was kind enough to, you know, carve out a week for us to go out there and just, just have fun. And there's, there's dozens of sponsors. You'll see them in the credits of the, of the movie. I think it's the first thing that pops up right after the film is done. A big thank you because they helped make this movie authentic. And, uh, and without them, you know, we couldn't have done it. So a uh, real big thanks to everybody that helped.